Isaac Hansen Aaron is one of the most exciting youth prospects to come out of Manchester United's academy and looks destined to break into the first team. The 18 year old has been labelled as the most talented youth player United have on their hands along with Kobe Mainu. So in this video we're going to take a look at just what sort of a profile Hansen Aaron is and how he'd be integrated into this current United side having trained with the first team several times. And I've brought along my brother Kish from Ronda Reports to delve into why there's so much hype surrounding United's Norwegian wonder kid. Thanks for having me on once again bro, it's always a pleasure. So Isak is just a brilliantly technical footballer, one that's just a real artist on the pitch. He's one of the latest footballing talents of this incredible Scandinavian influx in recent years. So what are his main qualities? Well his ball control is fantastic, he always receives the ball perfectly where his first touch will take him into space or away from an opponent allowing him that split second more time on the ball. He does this effortlessly, which always appears as if he's playing at his own relaxed speed. His pass selection is great, coupled with his understanding of tempo. He knows when it's time to play a high risk pass to speed up the play and when it's time to slow down the game and retain possession. He also carries the ball very well, he's able to slalom through challenges with his brilliant coordination and agility, reminding me a little bit of someone like David Silva. Similarly, when pressed, he can get out of tight situations, for example if he's being pressed on the touchline, he seems to be able to find ways to wriggle out and retain the ball. He's one of those players you just notice straight away when he plays as he's almost running the game on his own at times. He plays at his speed and his teammates just trust him whenever he demands the ball, even if he's in tight areas. He does like to drift around the pitch and is comfortable receiving it in all kinds of positions, something I love from midfielders that shows they can be multifunctional. His ball striking also impressed me. He gets lots of power on his shots without much backlift. This has also been the case from his set pieces, so he could definitely become a big goal threat from in and around the box. So where can he improve to really break that United first team? I think over the last couple of years he has grown physically but there's still weakness there. At times he can get knocked off the ball if he comes in contact with stronger opponents. This would obviously be magnified in men's football which he has yet to really have experience in yet. I also think at times he can take one too many touches. I think this is partly due to his confidence being so high that he's always looking to be the star of the show. Probably also due to the fact he's playing with and against players who aren't really on his level. But this can lead to him slowing down the play at times and closing the space for his team in the final third. Great to have you on once again my brother. So as Kish just mentioned, Isak is playing with and against players who aren't really on his level and I believe he's ready for that next step into first team football. Isak is comfortable in all phases of play and can play a variety of different roles effectively, whether that's as a creative number 10, an advanced 8, as a more deep line playmaker or even as a 6. His versatility and comfort in all areas of the field is an incredible attribute for a midfielder. We usually see him operating as a 10 because of his close control and dribbling in tight spaces, as well as his intelligent movement to find pockets of space. And with pre-season on the horizon it's very likely that we'll get to see quite a bit of him. So what type of role should we expect him to play? For me he'd be at his best if given more of a free role as an 8 slash 10 and this would allow him to roam around and find spaces both out wide and in central areas. And because his movement is so good he'll be able to consistently exploit the spaces left by the opposition, especially in the fluid system that Eric Ten Hag wants to implement. It's very likely that we'll see him drop deeper and dictate play too, with his excellent passing range, carrying abilities and close control helping him find solutions to progress the ball. And I'm really excited to see how he performs. Now it's no doubt that Isak is nowhere near the finished article and still needs to develop areas of his game like his decision making at times and physicality, but I believe the transition into first team football will help him massively in this regard. Hence why I'd suggest either a loan to the championship or at least some game time in cup competitions and cameos off the bench for the first team if Ten Hag decides to keep him on. And this way he'll get a taste of men's football and understand how to ride challenges better and use his agile build to get away from defenders more easily. And if he can do that and continue developing his game then there's no doubt that the young Norwegian can be the next big star in Europe for many years to come. So that's a quick breakdown on the profile of Isak Hansen Aaron and our thoughts on what he could bring to this United side going forward. If you guys enjoyed this video please share in any way you can and be sure to drop Ronda reports a follow on all platforms. One of the best talent ID content creators in the game. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.